How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am back with yet another sleep token reaction. This is Telomere's. We are getting close to the climax of this album. I dare say we're in it because this is one of three songs that are left in this album. So this is the tail end of it. This is the climax basically. We're in it baby. Um, but yeah, I did not know if you missed it in the last reaction uh, in uh, the video for distraction. I had to Google what telomeres, telomeres, I don't know how you say this word, I had to Google what it means and apparently it's basically the aglet of a chromosome, like the end of a DNA sequence and I don't, I don't know how or why anyone would think to use something so profound, so obscure as a metaphor for his relationship, but that's exactly what Vessel does. He pulls shit from the far reaches of space and he makes it make perfect sense i don't know man i don't know but anyway let's get into the reaction thoughts after let's go you me oh we got another vibey one like he's making love to the microphone Holy shit! It's more of that ambient stuff, like filling out the space. God damn it. This is definitely another romantic one. That is so beautiful. Oh! 
a guitar solo, a guitar solo. <laughs> No, that's not the end. Is that the end? Oh, that's, that was it? Dude, these songs need to be longer. God damn it. That was a really nice song. <laughs> I mean, nice is selling it short, but that was... Oh, that was so really well done this is i mean compared to most of the other songs compared to most of the songs this one had a very uh traditional structure and i think that is intentional because number one they had a guitar solo in it they don't do guitar solos that was really nice it was it was very well done but uh this song musically the song reminded me a lot of like mid 2000s or even 2010s kind of rock bands like the, the structure the, the the feel of it the the musicality of it reminded me very much of bands like alter bridge uh breaking benjamin uh they also had like really heavy stuff ambient stuff traditional song structures you know your verse your chorus solo outro that kind of stuff but it would be heavy it would be significant it would be impactful and this reminded me of that very much very much like that um so like it, it definitely sort of hit like that familiar nerve for me you know what i mean like that nostalgic kind of thing but anyway that aside i just want to I, I would love to hop on that guitar solo a little bit i'm probably going to listen to that again but uh just to uh, kind of analyze because that's what we're here to do analyze the lyrics of this song it is very romantic now that leads me to go in one of three directions two of them are kind of the same but it depends on how you want to view the narrative of this one is that he is again recalling a moment in the relationship where everything was perfect probably really early in the relationship when they just started discovering each other and you know like that honeymoon phase of a relationship basically that um because a lot of the songs were about his point of view in the respect of like i'm so in love with you i'm falling for you i'm the love that you want i'm you're a distraction to me you know like it was all from his point of view but this goes more into like a third person perspective because it is definitely about the both of them right because first verse is about him singing to her like you guide me into safety and silence as you breathe me out i drink you in blah 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 but the chorus verse two and so on speaks of the two of them in tandem that's one thing I'm thinking of. The second thing is this could be someone entirely new. Maybe he found love again. Maybe he found someone new and he would be reserved because there was there were allu uh, uh, alluding to that in previous songs in, in Sundowning also. There were certain songs that made me think, oh, he's found someone new. But that someone new, depending on how you want to view the narrative, could be the god sleep because... I feel like a lot of the songs on Take Me Back to Eden, I, and this is just me going off of the summoning uh, Ascensionism and, and Take Me Back to Eden, that a lot of that album is going to be about Vessel becoming Vessel and then the God's sleep, right? Maybe, I don't know, I could be wrong. Those of you that have already heard the songs are probably looking at me and going, what a fucking idiot. But no, I'm just trying to think. This album has been a lot about how damaging, how broken and toxic the relationship was and how even through all of that, he still loved her. He still wanted to be with her, but through her indifference or neutrality, she didn't want to be with him. What is that now? So could it be in fact the God of sleep? Sleep, right? And this being the moment, not this, but 
we're building to the moment where vessel becomes the sleep token right that could be that now i do want to read up more on what the hell a telomere does so i can maybe make sense of why he used that as a reference specific dna protein structures found at both ends of each chromosome protect genome from nucleolytic degradation unnecessary recombination repair an interchromosome okay dude with these fucking spelling b words telomeres therefore play a vital role in preserving the information in our genome but they have a uh, they have a uh, uh, they deplete every time a cell divides right or the, the chromosome kind of divides so that's what that's that's kind of what gives us our age basically we have a specific amount of telomeres throughout our cells in our cell structure basically and every time the cell divides and grows new cells the telomeres die off so that could be something what he's referring to in the bridge the past the future through death my arms are open it's interesting to me for sure but that was i mean that was a hell of a song again that traditional structure and that like sort of heavy it sort of started slow then it went heavy then they had a guitar solo in it man i mean i hope they do more of that but i'm okay if they don't they, they have their own kind of thing going on but i enjoy a good guitar solo and that was pretty vibey that was good very nostalgic for me but anyway that was telomeres let me know what you guys thought of in the comments below uh and if you have some other like because a lot of you also have your own definitions and own interpretations of what the songs mean um, and that's what I love. That kind of discourse is very interesting to have. So let me know. Drop a comment below what you thought. And uh, I will see you in the next one. We got two more songs to go in this album. So I'm excited. Let's jump into it. I'll see you in the next one. Y'all have a good day. Bye bye.